Now, Lucy, could you share with us, because you're an, an asthma still or as a child? Well, I, I maintain it with serotype now, but um, when, I was, when I was a little girl, I think my asthma started to become apparent when I was about five. And actually, I remember, I remember when, I was, when I was quite little, I think I was four or five, actually, and my father had just been elected into parliament. And I came downstairs with a really bad asthma attack. And I could tell that my parents were terribly hungover because it was a very exciting event. And I said, Dad, I'm having a little bit of trouble breathing. And he wasn't in any fit mood to receive this information. So I eventually persuaded him I needed a hot shower, a steam shower, because the standard therapy in those days before Ventolin and um, Pulmacord and Intel and all those therapies that are so available now was literally to put me in the shower and steam it out of me. And, um, uh, you know, so, so it was very kind of, I'm sure there was a lot of scientific development happening and clinical development of drugs, which are now extremely commonplace. But in those days, it was actually quite a scary thing. And I don't think there was a wide appreciation of the extent that kids had asthma. And what, what um, and uh, so it was hard. I mean, I guess it sort of stopped me from being an Olympic athlete. No, I don't think it did. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it may, it may, <laughs> it's my excuse. I never, I never used to like running or playing hockey or anything like that because it would literally trigger um, asthma attacks. And I think that kids, you know, rather than admitting things trigger things, they kind of slyly avoid the situation where they have to have that experience. So I slyly ducked all team sports um, and um, and other other things which would bring me bring me into an asthma likely situation and it was something that wasn't necessarily discussed between me and my parents but you sort of cunning, cunningly figure out how to do it and one thing actually my grandmother was asthmatic because she came she grew up in England and my father's mother and so when she came to Australia she came into in, to live in Sydney in the must have been the 20s because that's when my dad was born into the dust mite capital of the universe as far as I can tell which is the Sydney Basin and she immediately became quite asthmatic and so what she used to do so that she wasn't um, you know very sick all the time she used to go to the snowy mountains because that used to clear her asthma away and she actually started her own business in the snowy mountains and when I went to the snow I, I had no asthma, so it was actually a, a good sort of bonding thing with my grandmother that we could both go off to Threadbow and have absolutely no asthma. And so it turned me into a very keen skier, but a shocking hockey player. <laughs>